Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we will learn about redirecting routes. We Most often in our applications we will have a use case where we want to redirect a certain path to a certain component or even for that matter we want to configure the default route which is empty path to a particular component. We will learn all about that in this particular tutorial series. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of uh, my knowledge on modern web technologies with, to share with you and also to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling this tutorial series and I've created a playlist for you, which is the link is in the description box below. So make sure that you check out that tutorial series if you really want to master Angular 9. So far uh, in the last few episodes, we are focusing on Angular routing. Today we are uh, focusing on redirecting routes. So make sure you have checked out the other videos on Angular routing to master it at, uh, at completely. All right, so let's talk about redirecting routes. So in our application, we'll always have a requirement where we want to redirect a certain route path to another route or to a point to another component. That's where we will have to implement redirect in our routing array. The syntax to define is same, um, like how you have learned about defining the routes array previously, uh, which is defining the path. And then instead of giving the component name, we will mention the redirect to. So when we say redirect to and give path match full, it will always redirect it. Now there is a catch here. Remember friends, whenever we give empty path, it, it means that's the default route of the application. It will always be the root home page. Now, whenever we give an empty path or the default route, we have to pass a value which is path match should be pointing to full. Remember, these are the two important things that you have to uh, remember, otherwise it will not work. Now, that being said, uh, let's get started with some hands-on example and we'll take it from there, all right? Uh, so far, if you have any doubts in the, in the theory, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Let's start with hands-on examples. So first, we'll open our app routing module .ts. I have made some notes for you, like what we have discussed just now. Uh, we can define any number of redirecting routes depending upon the application logic that we have. So there is no restriction to how many redirects you want to have in your application. We are also providing redirect to in our routing module for that particular path. Now, whenever we specify redirect to, we have to mention path match and it should be full. Let's implement that. So if you take a look at these routes right now, there is no default route. That means whenever we launch the page, it doesn't know what to do, right? It, there is no home page defined. So let's see that in action first. So if I remove this and type hit enter, I don't see anything because there is no component or route that is mapped, right? So what we are going to do now is change this that whenever we hit the home page or the default route, it should say point to product view, okay? Let's configure that now. So first what we'll do, we will mention path and then we will say empty. That means default or the home page or the root path. Now we will mention redirect to. Now here we'll say to which path it should redirect. So I'm going to say product hyphen view. Let's say for in this example. And then we'll mention, we have to mention path match should be full comma. Now save it. Now what happens is whenever you enter the default route, it will always take you to product view route. Let's see that in action. Okay, so delete and just enter. So you see it redirected us to product hyphen view. Now let's say there is no hard and fast rule that it has to be the first one. It can be anything, any route that you have configured. So now I'm saying it should go to product edit. It will show product edit. 
So let's go and enter. Now it goes to product edit component, right? So there is no restriction to it and we can configure the, any number of redirects we want in our application. That's the beauty of it. So you can easily manage the redirections uh, of your application path easily. All right. We can also do this uh, using the router uh, in our component. Probably that I'll show you. Um, you we can just write, type something like router dot navigate um, and then give the path. We can do that also. But if you want to directly configure a default route to redirect, you can do that in the routing module. That was all about uh, redirecting routes in our application. In the next episode, we will learn an important concept called wildcard routes. Now, what is a wildcard? It's when there is no matching result set in your routes array. That's where it is called as wildcard routes. We will learn all about that in the next uh, episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so, so you don't miss out on the tutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.